Beekeeping is probably one of the oldest forms of agriculture known to mankind. A lot of people are amazed at just how much work a honeybee actually does. It takes 12 bees their lifetime to produce a teaspoon of honey. If you're out in the bee yards, it's very peaceful, very quiet, it's, it's very enjoyable work. You get to really be kind of part of nature. My brother and I, Davis, we're fourth generation beekeepers. We've been born and raised in it. I guess it's just something that's in your blood. My father, who uh, learned beekeeping through his father and uh, his grandfathers, and uh, we have a nephew on board that now is fifth generation, so it's kind of moving down the family. We pride ourselves on producing an Ontario-based honey. In Southwest Ontario, a lot of the clover honey is a very mild, very light-flavored honey, and it doesn't uh, overpower anything else. We pride ourselves on doing very little to the product, putting out the purest and most natural honey product on the market, and that we are actually producing the product right from the hive to the table. When we started this, there was a young fellow here from Germany, and he said, you're not buying a property, you're buying a lifestyle. Alton Farms Estate Winery is a lifestyle. We have done everything by hand. We planted every grape vine by hand, processed most of our wines by hand. We label one bottle at a time. We cork one bottle at a time. One of the things we're proud of is the fact that we have traditional vinifera-based wines in a region that didn't exist before. Our two signature wines would be the Aberrata White and the Aberrata Red. Named after the road we're on, the Aberrata Red is your typical Bordeaux blend. Full-bodied, a little fruity, it's got earthy, leathery aromas, it's got a lovely nose. On the other hand, the Aberrata White is a great variety that we only grow on our property. It makes a easy drinking, citrusy type of wine that people just seem to love. Our sheep are part of our family. They're fun and they're funny and they're part of who we are now. We have a herd of 17 and one donkey that protects them. We try to be sustainable. We use sheep to do weeding, but to minimize chemical input onto the grapes. When we first looked at this property, I just felt like I was home where I was when I was a child. It's just a, a beautiful place. It's some place I want to live here for the rest of my life. Bayside Brewing Company began in 2012. The four partners, my husband and I, Josette and Frank, we never thought that we would be the tourist attraction that would be bringing people in droves out to Erio. We put Erio on the map, is what people tell us. We felt that over the years, the industry has moved away from that classic, full flavored, rounded taste with a lager, and we wanted to bring that back. Long Pond was a spot that everyone would go fishing to, and we named our first beer after that fishing hole. It's a traditional beer, smooth on the palate, slight sweet finish, served ice cold. It's a classic taste. We put the wood-fired pizza oven in, and our pizzas that we cook out of there, the dough is made from scratch, we make our tomato sauce, and there's nothing like coming out here on a nice day and sitting on the back patio, having a pint of Bayside lager, and having a fresh hot pizza right out of the wood-fired oven. It doesn't get better than that. There's a lot of pride in this community, and, and the people who live here have put 
a lot of effort into changing it. it makes it just another reason of a great place to live. We're all put in earth here to uh, work with each other. The fruits of your labor is about other people. Appaland Station is a farm enterprise. Now I bought this piece of property here back in 1974 and I decided, you know what, let's plant an apple orchard. And that's how it got started. We grow uh, 17 different varieties here. I like them all because they're all unique and different. Our pies aren't made with one variety of apples. They're made with a pile of different apples. They're huge pies, probably three and a half pounds of apples in that pie. Tender pastry, a touch of cinnamon, a touch of other things. And it's all made from scratch with really good ingredients. That's why they're so good. I would say it tastes like heaven. After a long winter, when you see those apple blossoms come out, wow, it's, it's a real high. And then in the fall, there's nothing neater than taking this train through the orchard and seeing all that fruit on the trees and picking them. I've always loved picking apples. The apples taste so much better and you've got all the flavor and that's what makes your picking own experience so good. I think it's important that people are interested to know where their food comes from. Learning is huge here. We want kids to know that their food comes from the farm. Agriculture has to tell its story and we tell our story here. Southwestern Ontario, we all seem to support each other. There's no animosity. There, there's a lot of friendship between the restaurants, between the uh, beer and cider and wine producers. There is definitely a, a nice little network here of people that will come in and support us, and, and we support. I love that network, supporting one another, and that's a you know a gift. We try and link up with other small farms like us that are like-minded. When you find a little wee wineries or a little wee places like us, you will find somebody that's really passionate and loves what they do. And that's powerful. Mm -hmm.